Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So as you may know, in the past I've done some replay analysis videos to try and help people get better at the game and provide some coaching. So I decided why not look at my own replays? But before we get into that, let's talk about something else. We hit 300 subscribers somehow. I swear I just hit 200 like three days ago, and this is kind of insane. But really though, thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot to me. If you guys are enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me out a ton. All right, let's get into the video. So I decided to take a recent threes game and analyze myself and see what mistakes I made. For me, this starts with the kickoff. I have a nice first flip and my second flip is pretty good too. The issue is that our other guy here, Pimplup, delays his kickoff. So even though I get there before him and I hit it perfectly in the middle, he still wins the kickoff because he gets there late and has a free touch. Which is fine because that goes straight back to my teammate. So that works out pretty well for me. But especially in higher ranks, you're gonna want a, a fast kickoff. So for me, I do a diagonal flip kickoff. You can also do something like a speed flip, which is a little bit more advanced. Uh, but diagonal flip, not, not too difficult to do. You should definitely warn it if you're, you know, diamond or above, I would say. Even platinum, gold. Now, if I remember right, this is like, a high champ 3 game, I think. High champ 3, low GC. So this is important here. So here I see that nobody's pushing me. So I just let it bounce and control it. So I've got time, I get it over the first one, and then I make a second touch on that. So that's important. So not only waiting and not rushing a touch here, because I see that I have time, but also utilizing the touch here, this touch, right here. This touch is short. I'm not just booming it out to open space because if I do that, then Astro is just going to hit the ball. So instead I hit it short and that allows me to get it over him. And then I take a 50. So that's pr that's pretty good play there. This is just a little bit awkward. I think for me, I just need to not be so far up. Like I am way too up on the goal line I should not be I should be outside of this orange box area and I'm inside of it currently see I'm way too short if I was further back then I could probably make a play on this because that's an open goal pretty good challenge there my teammate here I'm just trying to watch the ball so I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm playing third man I'm just watching and I see that my teammate Lawsuit, he's going back right now, so I know that I'm now second man. So he's behind me at this point. Dorito, or I think that's his name. Yeah, Dorito, he's kind of in a weird position. He's getting bumped, but he's also bumping that other opponent. Right now, the person I have to worry about the most is Astro because he's out in open space. If he decides to commit to this, he's gonna beat me. But I see that he's not committing to this. So I either have the option to fake challenge, if Astro is deciding to go for this, I would fake challenge. But since he's not, I just decide to dive into it, and I win the 50. So and then here as well, I see this mistake a lot in like Platinum level. You don't go for this. This looks like it's going straight to you, but your teammate is right behind you, so I don't go for this. Because I see that Dorito is right there, I know my teammate is behind me, I'm letting him hit that. Because he has a wide open hit. That's a mechanical misplay there. So this is important too. So right here, I mess up my aerials, but I decide that we should make something out of it. I get that first bump by luck, but then I toggle to uh, player cam and I just start bumping him. I was hoping my teammate would get a shot, but Lawsuit is in bad position. So here, if we toggle to Lawsuit, what should have happened is I miss that, but then Dorito gets a pass. Lawsuit should realistically be more to the right. See, he cuts in right here. He shouldn't be doing this. He should be right, far right post. And then he'd have a better angle 
to put this in while I'm bumping. But it is what it is. So now I'm rotating back, Lawsuit's rotating back. Dorito makes a good play on the ball. But yeah, unlucky 50. So that all started from both me missing here. That's the first mistake. And then Lawsuit going for it and just not hitting anything. So for him, I shouldn't be hitting this. This is his ball. Right here, I what I should have done instead is I should have rotated around. So when I miss that ball, I should be rotating back post instead of going for this, because he has this. So trying to stay on this ball. I, I can't reiterate this enough, but if you want to win a game, you gotta, you gotta get multiple touches on the ball when you have possession. So here in, in this rank, really, your opponent's very unlikely to make a mistake, like a big one, like a whiff or something. So at this point, you're really just trying to control mid boosts and back boosts and boost starve them to the point where they literally can't hit the ball. Um, unfortunately for me, I have no boost, which is bad boost management on my part. Um, yeah, and that will come back to bite me. So here, let's see here. So very little boost here. I get my boost stolen behind me by Astro. And then Dorito goes up for it, doesn't get the hit that he wants. And then Lawsuit goes up for it, doesn't hit the ball. So a little bit of a breakdown by all of us because my boost management here is bad. I have no boost. It was a miss by Dorito. It was a miss by Lawsuit and kind of a lame goal by the other team now in the game. Overall, my takeaways from this replay are pretty simple. Even a grand champion, there's always, always some way you can improve your gameplay. So for me, I really need to work on not giving the ball away by hitting it into space because that leads to less possession for my team. And I also need to just work on general mechanics. Since I recently switched to PC, my mechanics have gotten a little bit better, but I should take time to train in workshops and free play. Watching your replays is really important, and I really encourage you guys to do the same. You can learn a lot from just watching yourself play. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.